We are continuing our celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. Tonight, the story of the Mexican-American artist who has created a number of murals in San Francisco's Mission District. That's right. His first painted more than 50 years ago in 1972, and he still today is painting. KTVU's Amber Lee joins us here in studio after getting a behind-the-scenes look at his body of work here, Amber. Mike, Julie, this artist is still going strong at age 75. He tells me he survived a stroke last year and he's in remission for lung cancer. Despite this, he just completed the restoration of a large mural with the help of other artists. Artist Michael Reels is enjoying a career that has spanned decades. He paints in his studio in San Francisco's Dogpatch neighborhood. Because it's such a magical thing to do. You know, there's just so much magic, you know, exploring your creative mind. He's hard at work, the master. The 75-year-old recently completed the restoration of the mural at the 24th Street BART station, one of several murals he's done in the Mission neighborhood. He first created the BART mural in 1975 when he was in his 20s. The East Oakland native shows the BART train coming out of the East Bay Tunnel from the Embarcadero station to the 24th Street station. It's really the people, you know, that hold up the tracks. In all our societies, tracks, you know, are a metaphor f for, uh, for connect connections. Connections, you know, you ride a train on a track and it takes you from A to B. The theme is unity. This 2023 version illustrates the changes that have taken place since the first mural was painted. The mural originally when I did it, there were no windows on the buildings. Reels tells me he had the three artists who helped him paint blackened office windows to symbolize the demise of downtown offices due to the pandemic. This BART mural is his gift to San Francisco. His artwork has been on a variety of canvas, including album covers and stage backdrops for well-known Bay Area musician Carlos Santana. This is uh, the art that I originally did for Santana. That eventually became his Supernatural CD cover art. Rio says the musician asked him to incorporate the title of one song, Mumbo Jumbo, and other words into the painting. Two artists sharing a bond, their Mexican heritage, and a mutual admiration. The arts, you know, are, are sort of like the language of our heart, right? The arts, you know, it is our our highest form of expression. Yeah. Rios is working on several projects currently. He's preparing for an exhibit to be held in the Haight-Ashbury, creating what he calls magic. He tells me he's been painting since he was 10 years old. He was still attending high school in Oakland when he started studying at the Academy of Arts in San Francisco. Mm, I like how he calls it the language of his heart. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Amazing. Thanks, Amber. All right, just a reminder here that Hispanic Heritage Month runs through October 15th. You can see all of our coverage, including past stories and interviews. Just visit ktvu.com slash Hispanic Heritage Month.